Um, uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody <laughs> to the to the show. Uh, welcome to I'm a hundred percent here today. Part two, part yes. two. We promise. Part two. Yeah. Um, I have here Josh Whitaker. Wow! <laughs> again, again, again. <laughs> nah, Josh yeah. Whitaker. Uh, I'm excited to have this fool here because it is the aftermath yes. of infatuation months after. However, we're still not done. There's no? still more. There's still what are we talking about, bro? Oh yeah. There's still. We're, <laughs> technically, it's finished tomorrow, but you know the the, the job's still going. Um, Josh, bro, welcome, bro. I appreciate Thank you being you. here, bro. Thank you for having um, me back. It's fun. It's always fun to talk to you, bro. New studio. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the old studio too much. Too many people. Um, but hey, bro, I'm happy you're here. Yeah, I'm sad, but I'm also happy that the fact that you're premiering your film that we talked about prior in episode four. Um, talk about that, bro. Let's talk about infatuation a little bit. Uh, how was production? I know before in episode four you were nervous, you were a little skeptical. How is it? That, how is the aftermath now? Production was yeah, man. Um, if I could describe production, it was like the most overwhelming, yeah. but like creative, like weekend, like of my life. Like it yes. was could, so. Yeah, this was the first time where I like, I had to like step up and like be in charge and micromanage literally twenty one other people. Mm-hmm. Like, it was a lot, and, like, I've never, you know, done anything on that, like, page before, so, yeah, that's why I was, like, scared so much, but, honestly, like, after it happened, like, I had I had a blast, Yeah, and I dude. felt like, you know, this is my first time directing, let alone something this big of a project compared to other people. It's, it's probably one of the biggest, um, it's probably one of the biggest sets our school has done, or at least produced. Um, Maybe, like, um crew member like number wise number wise that was, it, 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 yeah it's, especially it felt i don't know like with with other sets other capstones you know it's it's a five minute film you know it's something yeah. simple yet sweet um and it shows a lot of effort of course but on on infatuation on josh's set it felt it felt real it felt surreal um i saw you know josh <laughs> i saw josh in this different ambience in this different role because i've only really seen you in classes where you would handle even directing a little bit you directed a, a, sh- a short yeah. the, the nest for nos, nosferatu. Wit- nosferatu and you yeah. had it you you had it solid to uh to like to know what what you needed exactly yeah. and I, I felt um i was best boy for him uh, i don't know people i don't think people know what that is you, best you, boy you helped out with lighting lighting You're correct like the assistant yes to the, the, the main uh, the lighting and, person, and yeah. that was a very interesting role to see the director you feel me yeah um because I, I i saw i didn't i saw obstacles right i saw obstacles mm-hmm. and you paloma chase and all the people that collaborated with you, you guys really tackled it, bro. Like yeah. no other, dog. Like really no other. How was how was that um, overcoming the obstacles? What was the motivation for that? Like, because you know sometimes not every scene comes to plan on the shot list, oh, on yeah. the cost sheet. How, how do you overcome that, bro? You have to stay sharp with it. And that's like the beautiful thing with like, you know, my capstone was like, I didn't have to go through it by myself. I had four other people like right, doing it right. full time so that was like the nice thing with like with like Plomo for example my director of photography mm-hmm. was like because she didn't want to do her own project she wanted to invest fully into like you know my my vision my idea we had so much time like months before planning like every single day making sure that like when we get there for that one weekend on set like things could just be executed and if it didn't come to fruition like if things didn't work out in person like okay there would be like a backup or like you yeah, know, dude. we always had to, like, stay on top of things. And that was the nice thing with, like, her. You know, she spent, like, full time, like, with me. The yeah. shots are beautiful, bro. I yeah. see. I saw stills um, of the what she posted. Wow. Yeah. And all the projects she's worked on, amazing. Oh, yeah. And and, and the, what, what amazes me is whenever you're on set, you have this stress moment. Um, and everybody does. But... Somehow, some way, you always find uh, uh, the solution. You know, yeah. it's scary though. It's scary. <laughs> it was, yeah. But it, it, some of them, like it didn't happen. Like if right. you remember uh, the first night near the end, we were having trouble with one of the shots where they, where they first start arguing, okay. and it was. I don't know if you remember if you were in the room, uh-huh. 
but like plum was supposed to like follow them yes i, I was i was right? actually outside and yeah we had a, we bought a, a thing for like wireless uh, focus and the yeah. thing wasn't working remember and we were there for like a half hour and we for were the ac for the ac yes to focus correct and because we can't have her moving and correct. doing it so it, it was hard because the thing and we i think we found out later on that like one of the antennas was like off or but you know this is equipment that <laughs> yeah. no one used before yeah. we had to learn because it was a rental and you know we didn't have that much money left over so but it was it was like stuff like that where it's like yeah like obstacles do occur and like we don't have we didn't have a solution dude so. it, it, it's still i still think about the that weekend man um it's beautiful to see man uh you isn't it, okay? Let me ask you this in this way: Isn't it beautiful to see your vision come to life in production? Oh yeah, and it's very different from post, right? It's very, it's hundred percent different. Yeah. But you know, I spent before production. This was something that like I worked four and a half, five months on, like mm-hmm. every day, making sure you know the scripts right, making sure I have the right you know props and furniture for the house. Mm-hmm. So, and then you get there, and you only got three days to execute but but it's like five months of prep and this is something you know yeah we spent every day on it because it was a bigger production we decided like yeah let's go big or go home not to like demean other people of course of course but you know it's like this is the big one in our class like this is yeah it's the longest one it's Um, the longest one everybody um, else is 10 minutes to five most of them are five there's there's a few that are 10 i think there's one other one that's like 11 or 12 but like yeah, ours is like 15, and that was the one thing I <laughs> was telling you yeah. um, last time was like yeah. the one thing I'm like scared about is I'm scared of overshooting, but that's a good problem to have. Okay, okay. Because you have it, more coverage. You have more coverage, but it's like, can you sacrifice story? Mm. if you? Because we are hard locked at the time mm. limit. Right. And that's what it was. When we got our first like good-looking rough cut, it was 22 minutes. Yeah. It was seven minutes over. And it was funny, our, our professor said it was the longest rough cut he's seen in school history. Like, it was like, <laughs> fuck, like, we overshot that thing. But and, and it's, was, it's a nice problem. It I really was told, is. Yeah. I was told by our professor, Rodrigo, Rod. Yeah. Um, he was, uh, I think, uh, your producer, Chase uh, Paparotti. Yeah. Um, your producer. Uh, he told us, he's like, there's a capstone coming out this semester. Um, and there was a scene that was... That was um, uh, that uh, a scene or a shot that is worth two grand and is not going to be shown that's what he tells us and i'm and i'm over here smiling thinking who was that shot who who oh i'm like oh the car scene wait rod said that yeah oh. yeah two He's, grand or something like that so he i think maybe he was estimating or just trying to like motivate it <laughs> motive because he was in his motivating yeah. zone <laughs> yeah right yeah yeah so uh, I'm, I'm not i'm sure it's not two grand but like there's a scene in your in your film that's very i don't want to say expensive costly um yeah, yeah. i mean it was besides the <laughs> yeah. house right, right i guess technically because that's what really is right. where all the money went if you look at a specific scene what cost the most okay the one where we had the car because we had to rent a car and, wh- and what car was it what car it was a 92 bentley yeah man. yeah <laughs> like it was and it's and you, funny because yeah. even in, when you look at the coverage of the dailies, because then we did, obviously, we are going to black and white. Mm-hmm. It's like, you can't even really tell uh, what the car, what it, you know, <laughs> it, you can see a little bit of the interior, but like yeah. exterior, it's like, it was definitely like overkill. An, yeah, cause, okay, okay. But you know, it, it's, yeah, we had to cut it out because another thing with like timing, it was like, okay, we have to chop off six, or seven minutes. Yeah, man. And to progress the story along, like that was like the first scene of the film it's like it's easy to get rid of where we don't lose we didn't lose anything no no you didn't and i'm sure you did i'm excited to see it because i haven't seen it at all yet i'm excited to see it tomorrow bro um what what are you looking forward to other than your film what what are you looking forward to um tomorrow are you looking forward to other films what are you looking forward to of course the the one like kind of like down thing of like me like graduating and being in like the class is like i've seen like all the rough cuts right so like the element of surprise I mean, yeah, I'm sure, like, some of them are, like, more polished, but, like, I'm excited to be there, um, even just for, like, mine tomorrow. Like, I have a lot of family coming. Yeah, dude. To see, and it, see it's, 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 you know, awesome. it, it is scary, though, at the same time, because it's like, okay, what have you been up to while you've been here? This is, <laughs> this is, like, you know, this is, like, my work yeah. that I've shown, like, this is what I've the learned. four years that you've been four, here, the, what is this yeah. show? 
But even like less mm-hmm. too, because I've barely. Oh, true. You know, it's true. like it's been like two and a half years. That's right. And half of it was at home, so it's like. And I don't consider those college days years, bro. Right, but at the same time, it's like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's a good point, dog. I'm graduating now, not next year, because it's like <laughs> there was a year wasted. Well, not wasted, but you know, <laughs> we weren't here. Pandemic, you suck, bro. Yeah, a lot of the, <laughs> the you know, in personal work, it, was, it just went out the window. Yeah, but bro. it is something. I am very excited because this has been a date tomorrow where I've had it circled on my calendar oh, since August. Man, that's awesome, dude. Like, I've been looking yeah. forward to it, but at the same time, I'm just nervous. I think just because I want... People. I might have a mindset yeah. of reactions to my film, and I'm hoping that, like, they understand it. Yeah. Because, you know, there's going to be hundreds of people there. It's not like a small... It's a lot of people. You're right, bro. You're right. And if... Yeah, there are unfortunate. I don't know if it's unfortunate. I'm not setting them, but there are expectations of my product because it yeah. is the big one. And I was just <laughs> like, there, are, there's a lot of eyes yeah. on me. Like it's just, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, bro. I execute it into where people are like, oh, okay, this is, yeah, this is worthy. I mean, like I said, I haven't seen it, but just from production uh, itself and post. I think you executed and not even I think I know you executed yeah. it, bro. You you have the passion, you have the efforts. It, it, a lot of people uh who go into this industry are very shy. Yeah. That, and I don't and yeah. I don't see you doing that. I remember in cinematography, I was thinking about this yesterday. I remember in cinematography. Me, I don't think I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but me and you are into the camera thing. Right. Like the like I love the shots. I love how yeah. beautiful it is. Whoever takes it amazing. But we like organization. Yeah. In right? the cinematography class, <laughs> yeah. we're not the cinematographers. We're like, oh, the other people, you know what I mean? We just be watching. We, like, we yeah, do, you guys pay attention. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> right, yeah. But we were like, oh, we'll handle the other stuff. Because yes, yes, right. we're more comfortable with that. And Yeah, I definitely get what you're saying. Yes, yes. And it's funny because I, rem- I would remember <clears throat> yesterday I was thinking about what to say, you know. And I remember in cinematography, we just, the, the our professor would ask us to huddle. And me and you would be away from the back. <laughs> You're like, right, every right. time we'd be lurking in the back. We're like, all right. Like, and the other thing too, yeah. they she'd always ask someone to like demo or help, and we're like, mm, <laughs> no, nah, like we'll, we'll watch you do we'll, it. We'll watch you. It's okay. It, like it was, it was a cool class, like we said in the other episode. But yeah. I, I saw, I saw your passion in <clears throat> directing, assistant directing, um, but not producing. You told me before you're not into producing, correct? I mean, I could do it. Yeah, okay. I, I okay. have technically done it. It's just I'm, I'm more of a creative mm. than a tech. And as a producer on this level for like where we're at with like student films, producers don't really get involved creatively. Okay. Like okay. that's why it's like, yeah. And yeah. I get it. I know people love it. You know, yes. Chase R. Produce, like that's his like MO. Like he wants to do producing. Yeah. He's done like, I get that. But like for me personally, like at this stage, like I need some like creative involvement like I you, can't, don't, you don't like technical a technical but i can do uh, it but it's just obviously i'm not going to prefer it to like directing mm-hmm. or writing or even being a dp like i'd rather do that yeah you know you're like, uh i've seen i um a lot of people have told me especially you know be uh, our community especially car community um you have the mindset to if we can't find the solution Oh no no I'm sorry. If there's no if there's a will there's a way. Yeah. I think that's what I that's what I love about you, bro. Um, we were on the set of Lovely and you were assistant camera one. Yeah. Um, and sure, of course we were um, you know a little a little behind. But the thing is though, we strive forward the camera department. You guys were on it. Even even though it seemed like a struggle, I'm like yeah. dang because I was ad ad on that one, and I was like I don't want to hurry the, these guys up. These these guys look like they they know what they're doing. So. It's tough for me sometimes to be AD because you have yeah. to yeah. be not aggressive. Um, you really got you got to you got to keep everyone on set in check because everyone's so focused on doing their role. Yeah, that's your job as assistant director to be like, okay, this is we have to do it in this time or like we have yeah. to keep it going because like yeah, if you're like working on camera or lights, you're not worried about like oh what time is it? I need to mm-hmm. get out of here. Like we need to hurry up. You just do it till it looks good or you get it right. But that's like with you, it's like, no, we have like a schedule. Yes, we have yes. to keep things going Definitely. for everyone's sanity. So yes, it's yes, like, correct. yeah, I, I think I, I was learning, but I don't know how to be like, hey, we got to hurry this up. I don't want to be a dick, but I'm like, let's go. Let's go. I, I, don't, I don't know how yeah, to do that. <laughs> it was, no, I get that. Yeah. And, you know, it's a hard thing, too, because um, last semester in the fall, 
the, like the one set I worked on, I was assistant director. Mm -hmm. And it was weird because of the way this we planned the schedule. We had like all the super long shots with like dollies and everything in the mm -hmm. beginning. But we never had a dolly any day. So each day we started like three hours ahead. Oh, okay. So like I never like had to be an assistant director. I never had out on that set. I was more of like like a second director actually oh, okay, so it, okay. it was a different experience because i was never calling i was just like oh this is the next shot let's do it here and here i never like said time i was just like this is what we have to do and then i would like <laughs> i would help actually the director like direct a little bit because he would ask you know he'd pick my brain but yeah it's it's it's, it, it's I see, sometimes I see, but then I yeah like the weekend before i worked on a set for bernadette and i had to do mm -hmm. assistant director and i was what you were doing on okay. on the set of Lovely, I was like keeping you know That's keeping awesome, everyone bro. together. Yeah. yeah, it's tough, like I said. But it but... depends, though, you know, because <laughs> you'll have both sides, like how I did. You know, ah, uh, yeah. for sure, for sure. So, what what makes me sad, bro, <clears throat> is that like we said, you're graduating, you're leaving, dog. Yeah, um, a few more days. Sad boys, sad boys. Yeah. Um, you're graduating <laughs> uh, this Saturday, which is May twenty first. Uh, 21st 22nd 21st 21st 20, yeah, 21st, 21st. Yeah. so this video is going to be already uploaded by then so he's already graduated by the time you guys see it <laughs> when i hear <laughs> <laughs> magic um but uh i'm sad about it bro of course so many people who love you bro uh we're all gonna be sad that yeah though though we're all gonna be separate man it's a little, a little sad like i said <laughs> but um you're going to pasadena before yeah. you answer let me check the camera <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pasadena. You're, we're talking about Pasadena here. So what's what's really the next step, man? I mean, this is really a passion of yours. I see it in you, man. Yeah. Um. Especially like lately, I feel like it's been the worst kept secret. It really has been. Like it's been really like bad. Like I've told like a few people, and like everyone's like asking me. I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah. Um. In September, I I'm going back to school. Um. To get my master's degree. Master's degree in what? In film, just general Boy. filmmaking awesome, um, at the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. Um, Beautiful city, bro. And it's nice there. I don't want to say up and coming because they've been around a while, but yes. they're definitely like in the film school world, they're progressing. Wow. Okay. That's how I found out about it. They're like quickly like they're becoming it's going a, up there. Yeah. It's not some like little thing there's, it's, it's, there's more opportunity yeah it's becoming right a thing over there now and yeah they're getting a lot of like support from like awesome, filmmakers dude. that have made it so yeah i'm going back in september uh for two years to get my master's in just general filmmaking and then i don't think they have an official emphasis and concentration like some schools but they said you can like pursue one so i will be doing uh my emphasis in directing directing yeah. specifically yeah wow man dude uh is is that uh there's a stereotype i don't know for us um, film students, right, um, that it's not possible. Our parents, you know, really don't um, understand our passion. Yeah. Even yeah. friends. Um, you finish all these four years. Is that stereotype still with you? With other people saying. Yeah. Anyone, really. It, it could be. Yeah. And, you know, like like I said earlier, like my first year, I wasn't studying this. It wasn't yeah. until like my second year. I was like, yeah. okay. And then when I told, like, to some family, they were like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Because that's what's, like, different about me. And I don't want to, like, keep, like, gloating or whatever. But, like, yeah. I... Sh this is all about... This episode, this episode is about you, bro. <laughs> this episode like, is even about when you, I bro. came here to yeah. college to study, like, graphic design, even at that point, I had zero interest in filmmaking mm -hmm. at all. I did not care about it. I just... Really? I, yeah, I just... I, when I... Don't believe that. I really don't believe no, that. I'm, That's crazy. It's, it's weird, though. Yeah. It is a weird thing. I just wanted to do, like, graphic design. And then when I started, like, applying it in, like, the end of high school and, like, starting here at college, I just, I felt like I wanted more of a challenge, too, mm, at the okay. same time. And then another thing was, like, with graphic design, they tie a lot of it into, like, business and marketing, which I, I get. But, like, that was for me. I was like, no, I just want to focus on, like, being a creative and I figured, like, oh, what's a different, like, medium I can jump into? And that's where I was like, okay, let me try, like, filmmaking. It was literally, like, it was a gamble. <clears throat> because at that it point, definitely in the start or middle of your second year, if I didn't like it, it's almost like I was stuck, you know, major-wise. So it was a really big gamble. But then luckily, like, literally, like, right when we got, like, sent home for the pandemic, like, about two years ago, that's when I started to be like, okay, I love this. 
I can like do something, you know, with it. I can, yeah. But there were a lot of doubts because it was like, oh, well, course. do you like it? And I was like, mm, kind. No, I don't know yet. <laughs> but it was something I really wanted to try, and I knew a few people that were doing it. And they're like, oh yeah, we're always like working on projects. And so I'm like, okay, cool. This is what I like. There's like a collaborative thing, and like you get it's to know fun people. With groups, man. Yeah, when I was doing the beginning classes for graphic design, I was just sitting in the lab by myself, or doing my work, and like you know, it, it was a, a big gamble for sure. And there was a lot of skeptic. You know, everyone was like skeptical. They're like, are you sure? Because you know, you're paying money to go to school, and it's like you don't even yeah, know bro. about this. It's like, but I luckily made the right choice. Do you have good any, enough. Do you have any regrets? Not at all. Good. That's good my only hear, regret man. is I wish I did it my first. You know, yeah. I wish I, you know, got on it earlier. But yeah, it's been a, a weird. It was a weird transition to go into there, and then luckily, you know, two and a half years later, I feel like I I did something good to okay. where you know I had, um, I got accepted into a few master programs. Dude, that's so, freaking awesome, bro. Yeah. What What are you gonna miss? Oh, Besides, you know, the, the cart department, uh, the film students, what are you going to miss about this place, man? CSUMB, dog. I say this one element has its pros and cons, but everything is so close-knitted because of how small we are compared mm -hmm. to other um, CSUs. Mm -hmm. Like with our, and even like my graduating class, they consider it big because there's about 43, 44 of us. Mm -hmm. But for in the cart world, the film programs here it's usually like 20 you know sometimes 30 but yeah. for us it's like 40 but like everyone like a lot of us like we all know each other because it's like when we take these classes it's like when we you know over time i know it's like different for me and we're like different years and we stagger but it's like we see each other like once a semester almost and it's like that for like everyone like we just get to intermingle and like network and we just see each other so much and it's yeah. not super big to where it's like oh um we have one class together our first year, and I don't see you again until, like, the end. It's like we're always, like, on each other, like, you know. The, the cool thing is, though, even our, like, professors are, <clears throat> are evidence of this. Uh, our professor, like, Rod, he collaborates with old CSUMB alumni, yeah. too. That's cool. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. And they, they, they still keep in contact. Um, and they may, they create and, and submit fe to festivals. Um, do you, would you like to be... Would you like to be an independent or a feature, uh, uh, feature director, feature feature film director? Feature, oh, you what mean like we, big studio? Yeah, dude, I don't know. It's just it's a huge. That's a huge decision. You know, that's a, that's a huge role. And that's the other thing. Going back to your last question of like, yeah. you know, is there like doubts or like any like people being skeptical? It's like as a filmmaker, it's like don't go in it for the money. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Because you're not going. There's like a point one percent that work in film that are probably like millionaires that do it, that are successful. Not like actors, but like yeah. people like directors and like you do it cause you love the work. It's not like you get paid that much, but people that's need to know that people need to know yes. that. dude. Yeah. So that's like when you say like, Oh, do you want to work like independent or like with, that's the nice thing. It's like, yeah, maybe independent, but it's like, can I financially support myself to have to do other work scary, on yeah. the side? You know, that's, Something I'm sure I will realize in the next few years after I finish my master's. Like, okay, well, where can I work? Yeah. Or can I like do it myself? And I'm sure you're gonna work. Like, I'm sure you're gonna work for a big studio from there, bro. I see you rising from the top, <laughs> dog. Because this is a witness. Twenty years from now, you're gonna see this video. You're gonna oh, be yeah. like, damn. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's it's just cool to see, dog. Uh, especially people's like their beginnings, their. Uh, they're, they're, especially those obstacles, the struggles, bro. Um, especially how that's the re like the main reason why I have this podcast. A lot of people don't understand that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, yep. and you went through this all. You said two and a half years of college, and now you're gonna now you're gonna graduate with the film that you can send off to. And, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. You're gonna have a director's cut. Yeah, that's so. Because, like, here we are locked into this time limit. Right. And because we had the nice problem of, like, overshooting. Right. The nice like, problem, oh, there, yes. There's, nice like, problem. six or seven minutes, like, unused. And I, I feel like it is still strong enough to be, like, it still progresses the story. Right. It, you know, it doesn't, like, anchor it down. But, so, yeah, I'm, like, working on just, like, adding it back in. Nice. And then from there, that, like, version is going to be, you know, in the distribution process throughout the next year. 
that's it's the one that's gonna go out to, to like festivals that. and yeah. yeah keep me updated with that bro it'd be oh, awesome yeah. I have a question. This is super random, super random. If you had ten million, ten million dollars given to you tomorrow, what would you do with ten million dollars? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> super random question. That was, that's random, man. Ten what million dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I know for one thing, when I'm going to my master's program, I'm going to be in debt, heavy, <laughs> man. Oh, because the school, the school right is now, a private dog. school, ah. so it, it's you know tuitions, fucking. <laughs> up like damn private. so yeah it's oh it's gosh. gonna be a lot so that's definitely gonna be like there <laughs> i don't know i'm very i always help my friends out a lot it's good um you it's know good. i'm not obviously like i'm not rich or i don't come from like money but like i'm a little like i'm like, a, you have i'm you comfortable have, you know, right now yes. so i'm always like you know, every mean. time like friends i always like help them out and like shit, if i could like help all my other friends here pay off student loans that's probably what i would do Make them more comfortable. Damn, dude. Even, that means a lot, dog. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you, you can tell Real me if you bad. had it, but like, <laughs> you know, I, I, I want to help my friends out. Yeah. That, that is the one thing I'm going to miss too is yeah. like that I'm comfortable about here is like I wish when I go to my master's program, like I wish I could have the people I have here, dude. Because like I this last year, since yeah. August, since I came back, like all the people in like the, my department i'm so comfortable with them and i love like working with them so much and it sucks that like, i had like nine months to do that and it's like gone like it, after restart we are an exact evidence of that i've only known you for nine months exactly. bro. And, and i and i appreciate uh the friendship that i've had with you dog yeah. it's crazy you say that bro you're right only nine months of only collaborating yeah. of only working with uh, the people that you really got close with man it's sad bro yeah. um you're from Apparently, I want to talk about this. Apparently, <laughs> so, uh, rumor? I, so uh, a lot of I always mention this a lot when I talk to my people, um, especially Water- Guatemalan people. I'm like, hey, I know someone Guatemalan who's yeah. white as hell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and do, you, do you have you said you're part Guatemalan, right? Yes, of course. Uh, from your dad's side, your mom's my side, my dad's side. Are um are they full blown chapines? You know what that is? Chapines. Uh, know you know what? what a cha- Damn, chapines. you don't even know your own roots, dog. I'm a quarter man. <laughs> I got other roots to worry about. <laughs> so uh, other other than saying Guatemalan, you say chapines. That's what you call yourself. So uh, you're chapin. Like That's it. what. I'm a quarter Guatemalan. <laughs> I'm a chapin. So <laughs> does has your dad ever told you any stories from Guatemala? No, but it's not like you yeah. Know, so like my grandma. My dad's mom, She's, okay. she was born and raised there and then, like, you know, came over or whatever. And then my dad's only half. Ah, but it's not sure. like he ever lived there. Oh, he you didn't. Know, we and him went on a trip there with some yeah. family, like, two years ago. But other than that, like, we've never, like... You want to hear a scary story, bro? Experienced Guatemala. So, yeah. <laughs> you want to hear a crazy-ass story? Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't... To my family members, ma- family members watching this, I'm so sorry, but I'm about to tell us, tell the people a story. Oh no! <laughs> so, um, we know Guatemala. Um, there's a city called Jalapa. Yeah, you've heard of it. I've heard of it. Yeah. Um, and I had family members up there who used to live up there, and uh, I had an uncle, uh, an aunt, and a few, a few, few other uh, family members living up there in the hills. Very, very, very lonesome. Nobody's up there. Um, one day, man, uh, my aunt, she was the first person that, um, the person who gave me my first coffee. I was 16, the best coffee okay. in the world. In Guatemala, the best coffee. Uh, it was straight. I don't know what she did it because there's no there's no stores. There's no, she did it all up from her hand. I don't know how. Anyways, so my aunt, um, she was by herself in this house. And there's some crazy people out there, man. And they went up to the house and knocked on the door and they're like, hey, we we want to talk to your husband, which is my uncle, which is my dad's uncle. We want to talk to your husband. We want to, we want to have this property. They weren't asking; they were telling. Yeah. She was like, "No, he's not here." They shot her, bro. Like just like that, dog. They shot her just like that. And wow. um, uh, the crazy thing is, though, bro, this is that even that, that isn't even the crazy part. When they shot her, you know, they, 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 my uncle comes back and he, you know, you know, he sees the whole thing. And when they had the funeral, the son of my aunt, which is uh, my dad's cousin, when they were having the funeral, they were, he was very drunk. You know, he was drinking and he said, um, 
whoever, if the person is here at the, at the funeral, if you guys know anything about it, I will come after you and I will kill you. And I've met this uncle and he was the sweetest man in the world. Wow. And there's a sting, there's a symbol whenever you bury someone with corn in their mouth with their face downwards to the ground, that means their death will be avenged. Wow. With 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 murder, I don't know how, but apparently my family used intense dog <laughs> from Guatemala, bro. And he <laughs> said, yeah. he said, he's like, I, I will come after you some way, some form. I will kill you. And I'm like, damn, dog, that is crazy. Yeah, it's personal. Dude. Shit. Like, dude, like, out here in America, we're just like, damn, can the cops fight them? Right. right. <laughs> like, we want justice, but I don't know what to do first. Fill a report. <laughs> like, <laughs> All we do is fill a report. Paperwork. <laughs> like. No, nah, it's oh, just. It, but it's yeah, just, you're right. Like. It's it's crazy out there yeah. in Guatemala, bro. Uh, I just, I just it's just cool because I was thinking about this. We're like, what to talk about? And I'm like, damn, bro, you you must know your roots. <laughs> you Man, must. That's know funny. You. When I I yeah. went there uh, two years ago, like right before the pandemic. Like mm-hmm. luckily, like I was able to go out there for like week and a half. That's good. That's good. And as soon as I get like get in the city off the airport, dude, it was like a wake up call because, like on the streets, you'd see the guards. Yes, with, bro. With the ARs walking around and be like, damn, dude, that's nothing like here, like, at it, all. It, like, did you go into the cities, the little mini cities? Yeah, there? yeah. But you like see when how I they got... drive, bro? Yeah. My people. My yeah. people. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> relax. It, it, I was driving one time to the airport, and it's just, shoo, shoo. it was very narrow. Oh, my gosh. He was just moving all around, dog. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, bro. But and you were saying about Guatemala. How did you like it? How did you like it? Where, where did you visit? It was fun. I stayed in Antigua most yeah, of the time. Yeah, and uh, one of the lakes, um, it starts with a T. I'm blanking on it. I'm blanking on uh, the name. Know, I don't know. Oh, a, uh, uh, Tita de Wal? No, yeah, Tita, Tita Wal? Yeah, uh, something yeah. Like that. It's something like Tita that. Tita yeah. yeah. I think I made a joke sound like Titty when I first asked. <laughs> so you mean I'd be on some... Because it's Tita Tita. Yeah, Titi. Something... I could be butchering it. I don't know, but I know it starts with a T. Yeah, but yeah. when we went there, it's it beautiful I'm, there. Yeah. Volcanoes. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, volcanoes from here and over here. There's two. The, where my where my families are at, you you just stand on top of the house. Boom, boom, two. Like right yeah. in front of us. What the yeah. hell? Yeah, it's just like oh, like oh it's yeah, it's a volcano. I'm like well, okay, and, like, and you can see it's like only maybe a hundred miles. You know, yeah, right. Well, yeah, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> but then it's like oh, what if it? You know. <laughs> erupts like what's going on like what if it erupts what if it yeah. erupts the the sh- that reminds me of pompeii man oh the yeah thing, like people just <laughs> what if yo Shit. so so um uh the, one of the things i really want to talk about man since you're you know you're almost uh i guess not done with school but as uh you know i guess the four-year uh, college student yeah um Stress, undergrad, <laughs> uh, undergrad, of course. <laughs> Stress and anxiety, bro. Throughout throughout your three years you've been here, I know. Other than the work you've done, besides film, it's just, besides film, as just a college student, a lot of people seem to deal with stress and anxiety a very negative way. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, how do how do you how do you deal with it, man? Because for me myself, it's tough to deal with stress and anxiety. How do you deal with it as a college student? I just look at my peers, like yeah. people around me, honestly, because I would, when usually when that like problem would arise with me, I would ask them like how would they deal with it, and even then they would ask me. It's just I felt like here, especially because yeah, we are like tight, and a lot of mm-hmm. people know each other here because we're so small. It's very like beneficial to not be alone when you can help it, yeah. like always like be around people and like hang out and just be with them, mm-hmm. because this is like a short experience, but like you know. My days are done in a few days, and yeah. it's like, I wish I still had like more time to like soak it up and like, but yeah, just like making sure not you don't even have to like, just be there, really like, yeah, just, yeah, just be in the I, just be I, there, I, like just be in the moment, be in the moment. Don't dwell here. Like take every day. Like don't dwell. Stop being in your room. Like, dude. Like <laughs> go out. Like just He's talking to me. No, <laughs> <I'm> no. <kidding. laughs> like, nah. <laughs> but if you can help it, yeah. like, you know, ask people if they want to go somewhere or yeah. even just like take a walk around. I do that, too. I'm just like, you want to take a walk? Like, just 
I need to get some steam off. I need to vent. Like, yeah. I got issues. Can you listen? <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, that's cool, bro. I, it's, and it shows your honesty. Like, because a lot of people seem to be in that macho state. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Right. And then people stay in that stress, stay in that down, that downhill. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people are having stress and anxiety. No, I would. Let me let me start over. For you, what is stress and anxiety? What is it? What is stress? That's a yeah. loaded question. Yeah, you know it is. that, right? Yeah. Like, that's like <laughs> no, yeah. That's a like <laughs> <laughs> like like for example, like w- there's moments where my body just couldn't move because of the stress. Oh. Now I would be like, I want to punch something, you know. And then there's sometimes where I'm like, you're right. I need to leave. I just need to leave here, be in the moment, go for a walk. Yeah. Um. For the people who are going into, I guess, who are going to be in production for their film right now, you can see them a little bit tense. You know, they don't still don't know if their idea is good. So what kind of what kind of advice would you give those uh, those students going into production next semester? Dude, take a deep fucking breath. Yes. Like, cause yes, thank you. Again, I've been there. I, don't, I can tell you too, because I know <laughs> you'll, you'll be there soon. Yeah, uh, damn. <laughs> but yeah, dude, yeah. take a deep breath. At the end of the day, this is, I mean, yeah, like we work on films throughout our time here and we do projects in class that we're in control of. But like for my film, I always said, this is my first film. Hmm. And I don't know, this might be more stress inducing, but I would say this is my first film. Nobody has expectations of what I can do right now. There you go. So you shouldn't, you can maybe stress after (laughs) it's done. Maybe so maybe that's like the wrong thing. It's like, okay, this is what I did. And this is where the bar is. But like for like, and I like tell like my family and my peers this because like, unless you've been here on campus, like I've been keeping like the premise and everything about my film. Like my parents, they don't like really know the gist of it. Yeah, for sure. So it's like, okay, when they're going to watch tomorrow, they're going to be like, okay, this is what he can do. And then that's where the expectations, but like right now, that's my first film. And if you haven't seen it yet, there's no expectations because of that, because no one knows what I'm capable of Damn. yet. I love they will that, see bro. that tomorrow. I love that. <laughs> right? There's going to be a bar that. set yeah. mentally. Like, okay, that's, you know, that's what it is. But yeah, like, take a deep breath. Like, this is your first film. So just do what you can do and have fun. I had fun. Yeah. It, it seemed it. like you had fun. Man. I had fun. It was a little tense <laughs> that weekend. <laughs> With the, I remember with like the like lighting, lighting department, <laughs> but like it was like, <laughs> hey, the lighting department was. Uh, I can't do this no more. Lighting department was solid. It was solid. solid. I know it was just. It was hard out <laughs> being outside for that one section. Yes, there was there was a scene that was very tough. I was very scared for, for a moment. Yeah, but, <laughs> but no, you guys were amazing. But yeah, it's. Just, we we it's, appreciate that, bro. Yeah. A lot of people are very uh, tense right now. Um, they're still fixing up throughout the summer. They're gonna fix up the script and all that. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm excited because uh, hopefully, like, <clears throat> 10 years, whether it's 10 years, 20 years from now, I wholeheartedly, and I'm not just trying to kiss ass, bro, but wholeheartedly believe you'll see your name on the big screen, bro. I'm oh, serious now. I, I, really, I really believe that. Um, and kiss I'm ass. excited, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I just, I'm, ex- I'm excited for you, but... For right now, I am even more excited to see Infatuation, bro. Directed by Josh Whitaker. Um, one last question, dog. One last oh, okay. question. Okay, one, one more oh, yeah, thing, for, too. Go, please, from from go the for last it. thing I forgot yes, to say. Please, please. I don't know how stupid this sounds, but I've been telling people who have been gearing up for this, who've yes. been getting ready. Yes. Because I did it for mine, and I, I swear it like makes the world. Because I've been on other sets where it hasn't been this way. Okay. The crew I like got. All current students that go here, mm-hmm. and I made that a point early on, mm-hmm. that like I want to have people that are currently here. I don't want alumni that graduated. I don't want people from other universities. People from other universities. <laughs> I don't want people from other major. I had one person. The makeup person was a different, but like okay, that's okay. Okay, what? But everyone else was mm-hmm. a film major, currently enrolled here. And I, I made that a strong point because I was telling people, like, 
I guarantee you the set would just, everyone's going to be on the same level. They're going to just get it. No one's going to be up here and no one's going to be put down because we're all at the same, same level. We're all at the same level. And I've been telling a few people that who are going into production next semester mm-hmm. or are in pre-production now and I've been finding people. I'm like, find people that are here. Trust me. If you can help it, get 100% people that are here. Yeah, um, bro. I, I, that, if you can help it. That's why I, I know I sent you like my crew an email yesterday. Yes, yes. And I was like, don't bug me to come back. I don't want to help. <laughs> like, no. I appreciate it. No, I don't. Of course. But like, Respect, respectfully. respectfully yeah, respectfully. Get someone else. Like, because. Yeah. They got to get the, we, the, for example, the uh, the new kids, you don't, see, there's only a specific, I guess, handful of film students here at CCMB that know what's up but then there's some, some that just are shy and don't know yeah. who to talk to that's where we can reach out you know and that's a huge yeah, that's a huge thing to say bro but however that doesn't change the fact of what the things you're gonna work on are gonna be amazing and the people yeah. you're gonna work with man i'm excited to do the stuff you're gonna come up with man do you have any, before i get into the last question do you have any uh uh ideas coming up yeah yeah that's amazing and that's, that's good. it's good um <laughs> Another, I th- I think this is the, and I've realized this like the last few weeks, the one bad thing about Infatuation mm-hmm. is Infatuation is my first film. And it's like a 21, really, it's like a 21, 22 minute film. Yeah. I have to exceed it now. <laughs> like, I can't, like, <laughs> I don't know if it's like ego, t- but like even like lengthwise, mm-hmm. like I can't like even, oh, you want to write a short film? Like, yeah, sure. But, like, it has to be, like, over 20 minutes now. I can't write, like, write something shorter. True. So I'm like, okay, I have to, like, become better. Mm. And, like, I have to, like, do better. I'm not even saying, like, story wise. It's just, like, I have to make something better than that. And yeah, I man. I did something so fucking grandiose and epic for yes, my first yes. one. It's like... You did, that, you did. That's you the did. one bad thing is, like, that's, you know, like I was saying earlier, like, that's the bar. So I have to, like... You know, I have to exceed that. So, like, when I come up with, like, ideas and I'm, like, figuring out, like, premises and plot point, like, whatever, like, it has to be more. Are you up for the challenge? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like, man. I am. It's just I, I have to, like, stay yeah. in that mindset. Like, this is what I did last time. I cannot. I don't want to regress. Yes. Yes. I, I want to. Improve. And, that, and yeah. that's the one thing that's bad i think about it, is i did too much towards so like the bar i'm like i have okay. to i have to go more you know but like i, I it seems like the, you're the type of guy who likes to challenge himself all the time yeah yeah that's bro. how i ended up here yeah you know it was a challenge i was like let's see if i can adapt and like that and it worked out hell yeah bro all right ladies and gentlemen so it's fire alarm haha <laughs> dummies <laughs> W's, you might have to, yeah. It's okay. Ah, my, ah, I put a muscle. That's when you know I need to stretch, dog. Ah. Oh, a little more than stretching, <laughs> man. <That's... laughs> and the diet, dog. All right, um. yeah. You, you you came over to my my house a few months ago asking for a scale. You remember that? <laughs> The most random. Do you have a scale? I was like, what? So like, well, for what? Yeah. You're like, I gotta weigh myself. It's a challenge I'm doing. Yeah, I lost the fight. My brother you, won the five hundred bucks. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't win. I didn't. I didn't lose any weight. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gained like eight pounds. <laughs> oh, you gained? Oh man. So um, You're working on too many sets. I think, bro. Free so catering. Free catering. Free catering. <laughs> I I just have to say, when on your set, but on your set of yeah, infatuation. The moment I heard food was here, I'm like, yeah, let's you, go. You bolted all of a sudden. I was like, damn, where did you go? Like, <laughs> you first to mind. You were like, oh, I got to get my pasta, my tacos. People, like, people yeah. I think someone told me, hey, relax. Right. <laughs> right. I was They're just, not even like joking. They're like, hey, genuine. Like, hey, relax. Calm just, down, bro. <laughs> Let everyone else eat. Bro, you were there before the cast. I was like, come on, they gotta eat first. They gotta so, eat first. I'm like, lighting department first, please. Right. Um to, funny, en- to end <laughs> off, bro. Um uh Josh Whitaker, ladies and gentlemen. But the last question, um, I, I know you answered this last time. I just wanna see if it changed differently. I've always asked this question on the podcast. Um and the reason why I asked this question is because of the fact that people like you, bro, um, especially the people prior, Raina, Caleb, uh, all etc. 
Um, shout out Raina and Caleb, by the way. Shout out, shout Amazing out. Amazing people. Amazing people, yes. Um, the, all three films, all of the three films yeah. coming out tomorrow, May 19th, 6 p.m. It's a, This thing's going to be uploaded by the time. You guys aren't going to see it. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but, who cares? But um, those people, including you, bro, impacted my life to be a better person, who I am today. So that's why I have people yeah. like this on the podcast. That's great, man. Thank and um, I, I just have to ask, bro, what, what moment in your life makes you the person you are today? Wow. What moment? I think I think this moment it definitely happened, you know, coming back here for the, yeah. like the last nine months. It's you know, um, working on like my big thesis, my mm. film, and then realizing this is my last undergrad project, and I have to like essentially go out into the real world. Like it's a it's like a wake up call. Not that I was like slacking, mm. but it's like okay, I have to like get in this mode where like it's let's get working, let's get it, go. We have go. we have to go. And I don't want to like talk down on other people, but I there are people that like we know of and we see they're they're still not there yet, unfortunately. unfortunately. And we, we try to help, but it's like it's like hey, we like walk, we graduate in a few days, and it's like what's the aftermath? What's go? What are you doing? Like it's just you know. So I had that that moment, you know, last year where I was like, okay, this is it's getting real. I have to get ready for this moment to where it's like. Okay, and that it's probably going to be tomorrow night, where it's like this is it. This is this what is I'm moment. showing off. This is everyone's here watching it, setting their expectations. You know, you'll be there opening a, a bag of chips in the middle of it <laughs> because there's snacks for some reason. So I hear a bag of chips. Right, Diego. it's you in the back. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Diego. <laughs> Eating again, man. I was just like, shit. But yeah, it's something. You you have jokes. I, I wanted to get have a serious podcast with you because you know, okay, well, maybe you mean maybe a lot, the you end mean a lot maybe me. the end okay I guess I was away I was like wait where's the joke <laughs> this is no I, I yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually wanted to do jokes but I wanted to focus on like you leaving a little bit you know oh man that would yeah. be sad <laughs> it's sad that's another thing yeah, yeah, I, yeah we could talk so. about it yesterday um in preparation for tomorrow's festival yes. and just me leaving I I sent a like a one last thank you email to all the crew. You got that. Yes. Yeah, I got it. And man, I, I cried, bro. I didn't, I didn't expect to do that. I was just like, let me do this real quick before I drop off the things. So I spent like 20 minutes writing it. And then I wrote like the last line. I was like, thank you everyone for like being a part of this. And I said something along the lines of like, I will cherish. Yeah. Um, this moment in my life forever. Like I will never forget any single one of you because you helped me accomplish my first film and I, like before i that. sent that mm-hmm. like i honestly like i started to tear up because mm-hmm. it was like you knew i it, knew you meant it i knew you meant it because i meant it and it's bittersweet because again tomorrow is a day i've been looking forward to for a Makes super sense. long time mm-hmm. but it's bittersweet because it's the end of a chapter in my life and i've had a lot of fun doing it yeah man i've never had more fun with this group of people so it's it's really bittersweet but it I am ending a chapter of my life and I'm starting a new one and I'm looking forward to it, but it, it's sad. It's, it's I've sad, had a lot bro. of fun. I, I love the people here. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, bro. Uh, the moment that we're talking about might be tomorrow. So that's amazing. Yeah, uh, bro. Uh, it's, yeah, it's been a ride. I was telling someone the <laughs> other day, they asked me like, oh, what was your favorite like class here? Mm-hmm. And I was like, honestly, not even like the things we learned, but my favorite class was the class where I met you in cinematography. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone in the, except for one, <laughs> except for one person, like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> the farter. The, I didn't even say that, but like, like everyone, like I just got along with everyone. So like everyone was like, we just worked so well yeah, together everybody. as a, and we do stuff together, like as a whole class. Correct, and we all bro. were just like, we just all got along. It was crazy. Yeah, you're right. It was right. a fun experience. We were all a like, crew in like, that we, cinematography We did like class. two or three things together where we all worked together. Yeah. And we all just like, we knew what to do. Like we just, and we all like, we just had fun. I'm a cherry. Yeah. I'm a cherish that, bro. Really. That class was six hour class too. Dude, you're going to remember that for the rest of your life, yeah. bro. It was, <laughs> well, some other things I might remember too. Yeah. Um, you know, us in the back, you know, we're like, let them do <laughs> let it. Them. Like real ADs over here. <laughs> Right, yeah. And directors over here, you know. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, bro. I'm, uh, I have a lot more to say. I, I feel like I'm going to remember the important stuff I'm going to say to you, bro. But yeah. right now, I, I, I applaud you. I congratulate Thank you. you. Thank you. You're one of the best of the best here at the CART community or film community as well, bro. 
uh, I'm just excited to see your journey, dog. Uh, I am uh, too. It's so I exciting. don't know what's gonna happen. That's the exciting part. Isn't <laughs> that the exciting part? But I know the specifics. Like, okay, I'm gonna do yes, this. Of but course, of course. What's to come? Prepare. Awesome. But I, I'm really eager. Like that's the thing. Like for summer, like I'm I'm going home for the summer and just mm-hmm. you know saving money. But like honestly, like if that wasn't an option, like dude, I wish like I could start the program next week. I'm mm-hmm. so anxious to like just get back just get, in, get going, and uh, work work on a more not like professional, but you know it's it's masters. Like we all care and we all want to be there. It's gonna be more intense and you know. It's amazing, bro. It, it's gonna be fun, man. It but makes I'm, me I'm sad. antsy now to like <laughs> I'm ready to get in. It makes yeah. me sad to even close this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, uh, Josh Whittick. Any last words, bro? Because it's going to honestly, it, you know, hopefully in years, if I'm still doing the podcast, I would, with a better studio, of course. <laughs> a little cleaner in here. And um, <laughs> hopefully in a few years, I would love to hear your journey, bro on the yeah. pod man it would be amazing even if it's just two three four five six seven years from now of course dude. that's what Love i was, to hear your journey man I don't, I don't remember if i even put that in there i think that's the one thing i was like yeah. fuck i didn't put it by in that email i said yesterday i'm like everyone please like if you like keep in touch like i'd love to like hear or like even if someone has like questions or if you have questions or just yes. need insight like i'm always there i'm always there for like references or anything uh, before yeah. before we go a lot of people would come up to you on sets and be like, "I need advice." When you're not, when you weren't even like uh, a director, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, I was like, oh, "All right." <laughs> but th- that tells you something. Yeah, how, I, it's it's how trustworthy it, you are. I don't know if story. humbling's the right. Yeah, yeah. But it, you know, it shows that like other people like, you know, can look to me yeah, and like, bro. It's, I it tells me that like, okay, maybe I'm doing something right. Mm-hmm. Maybe I, you know, I'm. Not set an example, but people can like, okay, I like did something that was successful, so like maybe he'll have insight on like, yeah, it, it's definitely like humbling because yeah, you were even there too on some mm-hmm. like other sets mm-hmm. to be like, the director would be like, I need help, yeah, like, yeah. and I'm doing something completely different, <laughs> but they're like, like bro, I'm, a, I'm production assistant, right? right? <laughs> I'm not even like supposed to even be in your yeah, realm, yeah, like yeah. I'm just there in the corner, but mm-hmm. it, it, it's definitely like, humbling. It shows that like, okay, maybe I am doing something right. And impactful to where like I can, I can help out other people. And, and, I, that, and I love helping other people. And here. that is the reason why I have you on here, Josh, bro. Yeah. It, it, you're impactful. You help out people, whether it's... I'm not even talking about film, just in life in general, bro. It's yeah, always, of course. I'm going to miss you, bro. I, yeah. I Tomorrow, we still have a, a full day to get through. Um, I'm yeah, excited. Man. I'm excited. For, I know I've said that 10,000 times on this episode. I'm excited for Josh Whitaker. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I thank you for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Like it up, uh, review on the podcast platforms. Yeah. Thank you, bro. So no jokes, right? N- no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Damn it, I said the jokes. In seven years, when we come back, we'll, 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 no, we'll we'll be back for sure. It's just, please, please do. Yeah, absolutely. I'm always, you know. Yeah, man. I'll come visit you, bro. We'll we'll set it up, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Diego. Uh, appreciate appreciate that. you. And we Thank are you. out.